Hello everyone, today let's talk about generative AI and machine learning in AEC industry and how we can use the power of AI in the design process. The focus area for generative design is the floor plan layout generation. These tools are probably the future of design process where the role of the designer will be complemented with the AI tools. As you can see now on the screen we are looking at the Finch 3D which is one of the two tools which I was able to find which are working on this and are quite good. The bad thing about the Finch is that it is still being in the process of creation, so you cannot actually download it yet, but you can join the waitlist, as you can see here, to get the access. And the second one which I was able to find is the Plan Finder, which can be seen here. This one can be already downloaded, so if you go to the download section, you can download it for the Revit 24, which is what we will be doing now in this example. In the pricing, you can see that they have a free trial for 30 days and then they have some two tiers. So I'm using the free trial now to just see what it does. Now if we go back to our Revit file, after you download the plugin and install it, you will find it in the tabs. You can see it here in the plan finder. And if we want to now in this layout, which is just four walls inside of my Revit project, I will change it to be consistent colors. So we need to generate the floor plan layout in here. So I will go here with the generate tool. And now you can see it is telling me to select a point surrounded by walls. So I will click inside of this rectangle. Now it is trying to ask for the facades. So I will tell it that this and this wall is my facades. Click finish. And now it is telling me to select the entrance of the plan. So I should select the point in which will be the door as an entrance for this flat. So I will just go and hit in here. And now you can see that plan finder is opened. It works in the way that it has scanned multiple layouts for different flats inside of different countries. You can see it here and specify. So we are going with the Deutschland. And it is trying to generate based on those layouts, different layouts for you. As you can see, I have eight different layouts in here. You can specify different things. And I can just go and select between different layouts easily, just like this. And let's say that I like this layout, but I do not like the bathroom. So I can just click on the room and it will try to change the layout for me. So this one looks good. And let's change this one to this. And now when we are happy with how it looks like, we can just hit OK and wait for a while. And as you can see, it automatically generated the layout for me inside of my Revit project. And it is a 3D families that were used. So as you can see, it is already integrated inside of our Revit project and the Revit program itself and can generate the layout for us. So I think that this is the future of our industry and probably in the years to come, these tools will get better and better. And the last thing which I wanted to show you directly from the Autodesk, from their design labs is here. You can see this video where they are also exploring the possibilities of the generative design when it is matched with the architect. As you can see, the architect is drawing these spaces and getting some values and defining zones. And if I will just move this little bit, you can see that it is helping the architect to specify different layout options for those areas. And at the end, you can see when he's happy with what he did, he can just generate all of that inside of the Revit project directly and just see it in 3D view. So I have found that Autodesk directly is working on the capabilities of the machine learning and generative AI. 
the Finch 3D and a plan finder. So I think that in the next few years there will be a huge improvement in this area and I'm really looking forward to it.